What's up guys, it's Nick from Little Guy Racing Parts. We are here at the Little Guy Racing Parts headquarters here in Simi Valley, California. We've been getting a handful of questions already via email and on social media of what the differences are on the upgrades between the V1 and the V2 axles. So we thought no better than have Jordan, who's our design and engineer here at Little Guy Racing Parts to touch on the benefits of the V2s over the V1s. So we're gonna head over to the workbench He's going to jump in here and break down everything you need to know about these new axles. All right, guys, let's get into some of the nitty gritty details of the all new Super 8 V2 axles. For starters, um, it's, it's pretty clear that we've taken a lot of the inspiration from the V1 axles and transferred it into the V2 axles. So this here in the, with the black axle, this is a V1 Super 8 front axle. Um, this has been the standard for SCX24 for a while now. Um, we've had this axle for a few years now. We've taken everything we've learned from the V1s and taken all the good and transferred it into the V2s. Um, we've also added a lot of details into the V2s that some of our newer axles are getting as far as things like brakes, things like we've, we've really smoothed out the lower profile of the new axle on the front side and the back side. Um, that was one of our biggest complaints from people on the V1 axles, so we made sure to address that on the V2s. Something else that we transferred over from the V1s into the V2s is the axial style servo mount and rear upper link mount. I think this is a, a notable feature of these axles, even though it may seem small. Um, this will let you run our Tremor servo tray, our Emacs servo tray, or you know something else from a different company like that um, on your build. Something else that we've brought back from the Super 8 V1s and transitioned into the Super 8 V2s is the single shear shock mount. This will allow builders to space the shocks if necessary generally you don't have to space the shocks on our kits but if you're taking our axles and building your own chassis or using somebody else's chassis that requires you to space the shocks on the axle you have the freedom to do so so the new super 8 v2 is going to be the same hex to hex dimension so it'll give you the same track width as the original v1 super 8 which comes out to eight millimeters per side Hence, Super 8. All right, so now where we've really stepped up the Super 8 V2 axles um, really comes down to the internals in the axles. Um, there's, there's some pretty clear differences on the outside. That's really not just for looks. You know, we've, we've had to make some external changes because of the internal changes we've made. And one of those is we've really upped the size on the axle shafts. So this is going to use the exact same axle shaft as our Spider 9 axle. So if you own a set of the Spider 9s, you buy this one axle shaft and it'll work for your Spider 9s and it'll also work for your new Super AV 2s. So you can pretty clearly see the difference in the size of the joint, um, the pins that hold it together. We've, we've increased in size as much as we can. The joint itself is a couple millimeters bigger than the V1 axle shaft. So on top of the increased joint size, we've also increased the stub shaft size. Um, this is another common failure point on the SCX24 style axle shafts. Um, these come with a two millimeter stub shaft for the lug nut. Um, and we have upped that to two and a half millimeter. So pretty notable increase there. Again, it's a very small detail. Not everybody has issues breaking the threads off, um, but when it does happen, it's pretty inconvenient. That's another reason that we have decided to go from the two millimeter stub shaft to the two and a half millimeter stub shaft. Um, so it's just one less thing you gotta worry about. So another cool thing that the V2 Super 8 axles are gonna come with is our nice capped nylock lug nut. Um, so it's a standard nylock lug nut under this nice machined aluminum cap. Just adds a nice little fit and finish to the axle itself. Um, this is not something that our V1 axles came with. Uh, our V1 axles came with just a standard nylock nut. So again, not going to really increase the performance, but it's going to add that nice fit and finish all said and done. So something that we just kind of touched on, some of the visual differences of the axles. 
Um, the new Super 8 is using our new Pro Series knuckle. This is going to be the exact same knuckle that comes on our Spider 9 axles. Um, so again, one more part that is transferable between the new Super 8 and the Spider 9s. And this is our brass version of that knuckle. Um, this is currently available with the axles. Another thing that's currently available with the axles is our brass steering link set. Um, so if you're going to pick up a new set of these axles, we already have these upgrades available for them. Your brass knuckle option is weighing in at 14.8 grams, whereas your aluminum V2 knuckle is going to weigh in at 4.4 grams. So pretty significant weight jump between the brass and the aluminum option. This would be a great easy weight adder to the front axle if you're trying to increase the front bias a little bit. All right, while we're talking about different materials available for this axle as an upgrade, I do want to talk about what the axle comes with straight out of the box. This axle front and rear is fully constructed of different specs. Um, we use different materials for different parts of the axle, um, but the majority of the axle's aluminum construction is all 6061 or 7075 aluminum. So these are premium grade aluminums. All of our steel components our high quality steel components. You know, you don't have to worry about any cheap materials with our axles. This is just another pro of using LGRP parts. So one of the biggest controversies we see online about our Super 8 axles is gonna be the adjustments we've made to the link and shock geometry. This is heavily talked about online. Some people love it, some people don't love it as much. But what I mean by that is on our Super 8 V1 axles, we have widened the surface that the shocks mount to as well as the, where the links mount compared to a stock axial SCX24. So what this does when you stretch the wheelbase of the car is it gives you back link geometry to keep the proper triangulation numbers and keep the axle from moving side to side under the chassis when the suspension's all hooked up. With that being said, we have made some slight adjustments to our link and shock geometry on the new V2 axles. We have narrowed the link geometry by about two millimeters. So this is gonna be the link mounts were brought in and the shock mounts were brought in just shy of two millimeters. This is gonna allow more compatibility with other aftermarket kits, other aftermarket chassis, other aftermarket link sets. But if you are building a super stretched car, um, stretched wheelbase, long links, you're still gonna have plenty of triangulation to keep the front and rear axles in place. We have not made any changes to the gearing options that these pre-assembled axles come with. Uh, your front axle is still gonna come with a 212 front ratio. Your rear axle is still gonna come with a 216 rear ratio. 216 is factory axial spec, 212 is our overdrive spec. We find that this is a great all around gearing combination. And of course we do sell other ratios that have less overdrive. Um, we also sell an underdrive 112 gear set that you can put in the rear if you do want more overdrive. Another cool feature of the V2 axles, um, which we already have installed here on this axle, is our brake set. This does not come with the pre-assembled axle set. Um, your pre-assembled axles will not come with hexes and they will not come with the calipers um, But this is a super easy bolt-on upgrade. We have three different brake sets available. We have a LGRP brake set We have a R1 concepts brake set and we have a Willwood brake set. These are all licensed brake sets um, We're super fortunate to be working with cool companies like this all of these brake kits will be compatible with all of our 1.0 wheels um, we can't guarantee any other manufacturer's wheels um, just because we don't have their specs and we're not in control of changes they make. We do know that they do work with some wheels and do not work with some wheels. So take that into consideration when you are picking wheels for your axle sets. Please keep in mind these V2 Super 8 axles are really intended for the custom builders or people building stretched SEX 24s. Um, we generally recommend at least 150 millimeter wheelbase um, and what that comes down to is roughly 60 millimeter eye to eye lower link so if your lower link is 60 millimeter center to center front or rear that that generally will give you enough length to avoid any suspension binding while keeping the proper triangulation within the suspension 
So this is what you're going to expect when you receive your new Super 8 axles. Got some nice packaging, nice little box, protected by a foam insert. So what we're looking at here when we crack the box open, we're going to give you a hardware kit with a bunch of extra hardware and hardware necessary to assemble the axle. You are going to have leftover stuff, so keep that. Hold on to it. You're going to need it at some point on your build. So for the purpose of this video, uh, please keep in mind that the steering link will not come installed. Um, you will have the steering link hardware, link balls, and whatnot in this hardware kit. Uh, we've just gone ahead and already installed it on this axle for you. But this is exactly what you're going to receive out of the box. Rear axle, very much the same. You're going to get a hardware kit with all the parts you need and some extras to put this into your car. So to get these axles ready to install, what these axles do not come with is a rear upper link mount for the rear axle and the front axle does not come with a servo mount and you will not get wheel hexes. So you can either reuse your rear upper link mount servo mount hexes off of your donor axles um, or you can purchase one of the brake sets for the hexes, our tremor servo mount, and our billet rear upper link mount to finish off these axles. These parts are not included because many customers already have these parts laying around from a donor build or a previous build. By not including these, it really helps us keep the cost down as well as pass that cost savings onto you, the customer. And if you don't have these parts, you can always find them in the add-on section under the product page. Now we're going to touch on a weight comparison of the V1 versus the V2 axles. The Super 8 V1 front comes in at 35.9 grams. The Super 8 V2 front comes in at 37.9 grams. The Super 8 V1 rear comes in at 27.3 grams. The Super 8 V2 rear comes in at 25.9 grams. These are very small differences in weight, all things considered, um, but they are mentionable. The V2 axle set, comparing apples to apples, will give you a slightly more forward weight bias, which is generally what you want when building. And this is again an out-of-the-box comparison of our pre-assembled Super 8 V1s versus V2s. Something else we wanted to touch on real quick uh, because it is relevant with the brand new Super 8 axles is the addition to the family of our Super 4 axles. This is something that has been highly anticipated for a long time. Um, we've gotten a lot of requests for a narrower version of the Super 8 axle. So with the new version of the Super 8, we figured, hey, why not give the people what they want? Give them a Super 4. Um, so that is exactly what we did. Design-wise, it has all the same features. It has the brake compatibility. It comes with all the same parts. Virtually looks exactly the same, just slightly narrower. We don't want to go too much into detail on the Super 4s. Um, these will be available within the next couple weeks. Um, so that's definitely something you have to look forward to, and we will very likely do another uh, information video on the Super 4s when they release. Alrighty guys, that is going to wrap up our video on the Super 8 V2 axles. If there was anything that we didn't cover or you still have questions on, feel free to email into us or drop a comment down below and we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. As for those exciting Super 4s, you should see a video in the near future about that as well. But we appreciate all your guys' support. We hope you enjoy the new axles and we will catch you on the next one.